Animation is an amazing medium, and now it's almost magical. I can type something into a command prompt, and it basically gets made almost instantly, which is incredible. Flickr is an animated film that I've been wanting to make for some time now. It's about an older woman who escaped assisted living and is obsessed with this old gothic library. But really at its core, it's about life and how precious it is and how we should appreciate it. I'm excited to show you some of the behind the scenes. Uh, uh, we have a weird situation going on. Hmm? I'll be right back. Well, you know what? Um, why don't you come with? There might be some good behind the scenes drama or something like that. So Rose is the main character of the film. She's the older woman I was mentioning earlier, but apparently someone has remotely taken control of her animation rig. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I guess we'll find out. So this is our production volume. This is where we use a mix of light sources through our LED dome, along with an augmented reality point cloud. Oh, here I got you this so you can uh, see what we see in the AR space. Got it? Sorry. We, I don't know. We think someone took up a rose and was messing with us, maybe? Sorry to bother, uh, but can anyone tell me how I got here? Look, um, I know you think this is funny, whoever you are, but you are wasting a lot of time, so if you will please let go of Rose so we can get back to work. I'm not holding anyone. And also, I am Rose. You're not Rose. I am Rose. We're on a tight schedule, please. I'm Rose. You are not Rose. I was born March 18th, 1975. At, at home, actually. My mother did one of those natural birth in the little tub things. She had a, a doula. Oh, what was her name? How do you know that? Abigail. My mother's doula was named Abigail. Yeah, I, I don't really know what's happening right now, so um, we gotta figure this out. Can we shut those cameras off? All right, shut the AR feed. Can you shut, shut it off? I, I don't know what is happening right now. I never told the doula's name to anybody. Who are you? Okay, so, where am I supposed to look? You can look right at camera. Oh, I thought that was a big no-no for movies. No, it's, it's fine for documentaries. Well, you know, that's why you're the director, man. <laughs> so, what are we gonna talk about today? Being able to spend time with a character that came from your imagination, it's surreal. She'll tell me stories about her life that I had never even written down. Things that I might have thought, but never spoke aloud to anyone. You're not wrong. Sometimes I just like to hang out with her and listen to her play piano. Did Rose coming to life help you in crafting your film? Um, when Rose first came to life, it threw a wrench in the whole production. But we thought, okay, well, we'll just make the film and have her be the main character. The problem with that, though, is she came to life as a character that I wrote, which was not an actor, Cut. which was challenging. Cut. Rose, don't look at camera. So we tried to it. transition her to sort of a consultant, which we thought would be good because this was based on her life, which is so weird to say because none of it actually happened. Having her consult is what led to the argument. Um, okay, I understand that, but this is my story, so this is how we're gonna shoot it, okay? So. Listen, young man, if you're gonna make a film about my life, then it should be accurate. Okay, um, your entire existence is because of me. Your life is my creation, my story. Everything that happened to you <laughs> is because I crafted it. This is how we're gonna shoot it. I'm sorry. Thank you. Really? You see in the film something tragic happens to her? Well, it's actually part of her backstory, so it doesn't actually take place in the film, but the film is about it. Anyway, when I was telling her that everything that had happened to her was because of me, in her mind it meant that I was responsible for this tragic thing, which is sort of true, I guess.
What did you think when the studio told you that they were going to use Rose's hardware on the next production? I thought it was awful. I mean, this is ridiculous. Please. And wrong? You can't just kill a living being because it of It is not a real thing. So even She if, deserves at least to know. Can I at least tell Listen, her what's going on? Shut it down. Rose, can I come in and talk? Please, Rose, it's really important. First of all, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you're feeling pain. I didn't realize what I was writing would be your life. You know, I, I didn't know that you'd be here. I know you didn't. Yeah, well, for the record, I think that you're real, and I'm sorry that some people are saying that you aren't. But there is something that I need to tell you, and it's going to be hard to hear. Rose, they're going to shut you down, and, well, this means that. I know what it means. I'm so sorry, Rose. I, um, I tried. I, uh, really tried. It's okay, Chris. I've lived a long life. Well, I mean, I guess my actual life has only been ten months or so. But I feel like I've lived 78 years. Which is what matters, I think. You know what? It's not okay. I mean, I know I'm supposed to be the, the wise old woman that is okay with dying, but I, I'm not. That's not how I feel. I don't want to die, and I'm scared. I'm going to be right here. I'm not going anywhere. I think I need to go for a walk. No. Alone, actually. Would you do it all over again? I don't... I don't really have an answer to that question. Um, I'm sorry about what happened to her, but if I didn't make the film, then you know she wouldn't be alive or wouldn't have been alive actually. And that's what my short flicker, you know, it's all about life and uh, how precious it is. Thank <laughs> you.